saw what Clark did. I know he did. I'm sure. I'm sure what he thought he saw was... was an act of God, Jonathan. This was providence. <laughs> well, I think you're blowing it a little out of proportion. No, I'm not. Lana saw it too, and the Fordham boy. And this isn't the first time Clark's done something like this. I just wanted to help. I know you did, but we talked about this. Right? <sighs> right? We talked about this. You have... Oh, Clark, you have to keep this side of yourself a secret. What was I supposed to do? Just let him die? <sighs> Maybe. There's more at stake here than just our lives, Clark, or the lives of those around us. When the world, when the world finds out what you can do, it's going to change everything. Our, our beliefs, our notions of what it means to be human, everything. You saw how Pete's mom reacted, right? She was scared of Clark. Why? People are afraid of what they don't understand. Is she right? Did God do this to me? Tell me. We found him this. We were sure the government was going to show up at our doorstep, but no one ever came. was in the chamber with you. I took it to a metallurgist at Kansas State. He said whatever it was made from didn't even, didn't even exist on the periodic table. That's another way of saying that it's not from this world, Clark. And neither are you. You're the answer, son. You're the answer to are we alone in the universe. I don't want to be. And I don't blame you, son. It'd be a huge burden for anyone to bear. But you're not just anyone, Clark, and I have to believe that you were... that you were sent here for a reason. All these changes that you're going through, one day... one day you're gonna think of them as a blessing, and when that day comes, you're gonna have to make a choice. A choice of whether to stand proud in front of the human race or not. I just keep pretending I'm your son? You are my son. But somewhere out there, you... You have another father, too, who gave you another name. And he sent you here for a reason, Clark. And even if it takes you the rest of your life, you owe it to yourself to find out what that reason is. Come on, Kent. Come on, fight back. Get up, Kent. <laughs> so is that it? Is that all you've got? Come on, Kent. Come on! You? you know they can't. It's not what I meant. I mean, are you all right? I'm 
wanted to hit that kid. I wanted him so bad. I know you did. I mean, part of me even wanted you to, but then what? Make you feel any better? You just have to decide what kind of man you want to grow up to be, Clark, because whoever that man is, good character or bad, he's... He's going to change the world. I'm tired of safe. I just want to do something useful with my life. So farming, feeding people, that's not, that's not useful. I didn't say that. My family's been farming for five generations, Clark. Your family, not mine. I, I don't even know why I'm listening to you. You're not my dad. You're just some guy who found me in a field. Clark! That's all right, Martha. Right, Clark has a point. We're not your parents. But we've been doing the best we can and we've been making this up as we go along, so maybe maybe our best isn't good enough anymore. Look. Dad, hold Jeez. on. Stay here. 